Place the flies in the fridge until they stop moving. Flies are cold-blooded, so this would actually work. Bit like shutting down a reactor by cooling it to cryogenic temperatures. Theoretically possible. Then slice a matchstick in half and glue a paper-thin wing across the top. Okay. Add tiny drops of glue to the wing, one for each fly. I mean, it is possible to make a glider that small. Then stick the dormant flies on by their bellies. That's not going to be nearly enough. Glue is heavy compared to a fly's thrust capacity, which is about a millinewton. Flies can lift itself, but not the glue plus the glider. This is a bit like embedding nuclear fuel rods in tons of concrete. Just not enough to start a reaction. All pointing in the same direction. Breathe warm air across their bodies, and as they wake up, their wings buzz back to life. Okay, so this would indeed bring them back. However, they will not be in sync. Without some sort of neurological coordination, you're just gonna flat randomly. This would be a bit like if control rods bounced in and out randomly in your nuclear reactor. It's just not gonna work. And the whole plane lifts off the ground. No, you would need thousands of them in perfect sync. Nature already solved this. It's called a bird. This is a bit like saying you can power a reactor by dropping a handful of U-235 atoms in a pot of water, off by several orders of magnitude.